Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. This is month number two, looking at operations and relations of sets with a brand new video every single day for the whole month of October. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at what is predication. Now, back in the original 100 Days of Logic, we briefly covered a concept called predication. This is where categorical logic is added on to propositional logic to create predicate calculus. We've not encountered these concepts much in our study of modal logics, but they will become much more important as we move further into set theory and higher order logic. So this is a quick review and a primer for how they're going to be applied to set theory. So simply, predication is a means of stating in logic that a particular object has a particular property. Instead of taking entire statements as the building blocks, as propositional logic does, it allows us to break these statements down into their subjects and predicates and determine the logical relations based on these, adding in categorical logic to propositional logic. If you wanted to say, for example, that this book is read, you could use a capital R to represent is read and a lowercase b to represent this book, therefore representing the statement as rb. Note that neither of these are in italics, which we're using to represent sets and classes, with capitals representing classes and lowercases representing sets in general. If you wanted to say all dogs are mammals, you could represent is a mammal with m, and is a dog with D giving you the statement for all X, MX implies DX. Now, relations are also important to set theory. If anything, they're more important, as we will find out soon. They're used to describe what two, when two objects share a particular relation. If we wanted to say my marker is to the left of my pencil, we might use M to represent marker, P to represent pencil, and L to represent to the left of, giving us LMP. Sometimes you'll see this written as MPL or L open bracket MP, close bracket. Similarly, we might represent the claim that if one thing is to the left of a second thing, then the second thing is to the right of the first, as for all X and all Y, if X is to the left of Y, that implies that Y is to the right of X. Up next, we're going to be taking a look at how these predicates and relations can be applied to set theory. Watch this video and more here at Carneades.org. Watch a brand new video every single day for the whole month of October. Go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell if you want to stay up on all the new videos we're doing on set theory this month and months in the future. And as always, stay skeptical, everybody.